Traffic. We all hate it, but what if you had the opportunity to make it suck less? Would you be able to do it? Well, now you can try to do that and pretty much only that with many motorways. Dive into the world of city planning as you head to the vague representations of all of your favorite cities throughout the world. From the makers of Mini Metro, a game where you connect colorful lines representing railroads to move shapes where they want to go, comes a game where you connect colorful lines representing roads to move cars where they want to go. Each of these little two-car garages wants to make its way to a building of the same color and it's your job to make that happen. It may seem simple, but it doesn't take long to realize you fucked everything up and it's all going to shit in a matter of seconds. You see, as cars selfishly cram themselves onto roads to get where they want to go as fast as possible, they serve only to achieve the exact opposite and slow everyone down. Next thing you know, a dozen people want to get to a single location and if they can't get there fast enough, a timer will tick down to your inevitable failure. Thankfully, you have more than mere roads to get these ant-like automobiles to their favorite color-coordinated rectangular boxes in a timely manner. You can use the power of traffic lights to keep cars from slowing down at every intersection even when they don't have to. Or you can shatter the landscape with the magic of a roundabout to allow people to left turn their way to happiness. Bridges can perform the modern miracle of making previously impassable waterways just another layer of asphalt in your journey to good times. And in some maps that feature the imposing might of mountains, you can use tunnels to penetrate their rocky faces and leisurely cruise through their bowels. But the most powerful tool of all is the incredible engineering marvel that is the motorway. These highways won't be taking you to the danger zone, but rather deliver speedy routes over every other building, road, and that nasty traffic and directly to your desired location. You'll need all of these tools as well as skill, foresight, and plenty of luck to find success on each level. While you start out with only one store and a car-filled garage house, the camera will slowly zoom out like a horror film revealing more of the map. As it grows, stores and houses pop up all over the place and demand your intervention in getting them in touch with one another. However, this is all a clever trick by the game. You don't actually have to connect every house to every store. It's only necessary to get enough houses connected to fulfill the demand of little blippy icons for that particular color. The practice of segregation is going strong in this game and separate but equal road services are the key to a bright future and a high score. And those high scores are the only thing you'll need to feel all the pride and accomplishment this game offers. Each location has its own scoreboard complete with charts so you can see precisely how much you suck compared to the rest of the world. After you reach a thousand points, you unlock special challenges that do things like limit your resources or change the nature of traffic so you'll always be able to discover new and spectacular ways to fail. Mini Motorways The most frustrating part of City Builders is now a puzzle game everyone can torture themselves with for hours on end. Minimalist puzzle games exist on a broad spectrum of quality between low-effort money grabs and surprisingly deep and enjoyable bargains. Since Mini Motorways is firmly on the latter side of that spectrum, it's earned the abbreviated score of… good. If you'd like to see more hot takes, warm satire, and tepid commentary about video games, make sure to subscribe and check out my other abbreviated reviews.